The doors are closed, and we're not a policeman. But there is another way to get in. The garbage. These garbage trucks come along periodically. What we need to do is get into the garbage can and get picked up by the truck, but it doesn't stop here. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. So we have to move this roadblock. It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. 3018. So that's where the roadblock currently is. It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is 0092. So look at that sign. That will give us a different number. Perhaps if I try entering, the idea of the intersecting street, the roadblock will move. Why don't you just do that? Okay. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Let's get in there. And then just wait. And the garbage truck will come along and pick us up. Any time now. to save the world. I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that Ratchet wouldn't let go. Disgusting. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Tuvok? You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. Tuvok? That's a Star Trek reference. <laughs> From my extensive knowledge of cop shows, I'd say she's probably the desk sergeant on duty. For some reason, they're always slightly overweight and grumpy. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. Gotta pick that up. <laughs> it's some kind of requisition form or work order. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. Did we inspect this? The watch is ticking. Maybe we did. The panel is closed. <coughs> it's completely secured. I can't open it. <coughs> the doors are closed. They don't open manually. <coughs> this phone, 099-12090. It's an old vid phone, ancient, ancient technology. Officials are so passe. <coughs> The screen and camera are both out of order, I think. <coughs> it's a thin guy wearing red coveralls. He looks like a repairman. It's a, um, portly fellow wearing red coveralls. I think he's a repairman. The doors are closed. Down there is the front entrance, which is closed. We can't actually leave this place yet. It's the front desk sergeant. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Where are the archives? 
the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? I'm in training at the academy, and I need to get into the archives to... study. You're in training? Uh-huh, sure you are. Then what the hell are you doing here? You should be at the academy doing push-ups and learning how to bullshit like a pro. About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? Yes, yes I am. If you're a cop, where the hell's your uniform? Your badge? Your standard issue disruptor pistol? At home. They're all at home. Then I suggest you get your cute little butt home and get your badge, your uniform, and your gun. Capiche? Now, shoo, leave the grown-ups to do the grown-up work, okay? About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? <coughs> so what if I'm not? <coughs> then you can't go into the back, capiche? Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. And until those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. Thanks anyway. So we've got to get the workmen to fix the door. Hi. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. Why aren't you guys working? We're on our contractually bound lunch break. Uh. Huh. Right. But you're not eating. We're done eating, sure. But we're still on our break. <laughs> Clause 16 of the contract, and I quote, improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work-related activities. End quote. Meaning what? We're letting the corned beef settle, honey. Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? That's right. <laughs> but instead, you're just... <laughs> sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? That's right. And you're not bothered by this? <laughs> That's right. I could say anything, anything at all. That's right. And you just answer? That's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'd be so nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No. Short of emergency, we ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. <laughs> what constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. What kind of work order? Ah, well, you know. About the work order... Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. Thus allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? Never mind. Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term <laughs> tactical suspension of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. Excuse me. How do I smell? Smell? Are you coming on to me, honey? What? I don't know. Women don't usually come on to me, so I'm, I'm just checking. I wouldn't want to miss a come on. I asked you how I smelled. Yeah, right. Um, like, uh, moldy pizza and... Um, is that salmon? Smoked. <laughs> yeah. And a faint touch of rum? I had an 
accident with a bottle inside a garbage container. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. You're not alone. In fact, there are meetings downtown every Wednesday night. I don't have a drinking problem. If you can't admit it to yourself, honey, you do. After all, who's the one reeking a rum? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Not today, anyway. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. <laughs> that's the requisition from last week. What a horrible experience that was. I pray each and every night that we'll never have to sacrifice our lunch break again. You keep it, okay? Seeing that form again sickens me. He's having none of that form because it's old. We need to get a new one. And to get new forms, we have to come over to this lady and ask her for them. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? We want this shit. I need a requisition form number 09042. <laughs> Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. Here you go, miss. Union requisition form number 09042. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042, short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. The work order's blank. Lovely, so let's go and show it to the workmen. I better forge, ooh, uh, fill out this work order first. The damn doors! Sign the commission. There. Couldn't you have signed that immediately? Instead of walking back and forth three times? April, you silly. Now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. <laughs> Say what? Lady, do you realize what you've just done? You've interrupted our lunch break. This is an official work order. It can't be. Wait. 09042. This isn't 09042-A, is it? Uh, no. Just plain old 09042-nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays. Us being on triple overtime and all. So? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. Yay, bureaucracy. So we have to get that form as well. Easy peasy. Just go and talk to the lady again. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? <coughs> I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? Because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. <laughs> hmm, hold on. Hold on. I like how she just accepted that. <laughs> All right, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. It better be. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042-A. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. Public holiday addendum. That should do it. Get back to work. Okay, now we're set. I hope. 
Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls! We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this lovely young lady. Nice. And now they'll go off to fix the door. Slowly. They won't fix it immediately, though. They're just gonna stay there, dawdling around. But they've opened the panel now. So there's that. At least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the panel. That's actually all we needed them to do, is open the panel. We can do the rest, but we need to get them away from it again now. Good to see you up and about, George. Mister! Mister! The plane! The plane! The plane! The plane! Are you guys gonna be done soon? Hey! Who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. <laughs> Very complicated. So they're not gonna stop. What we actually have to do is use these vid phones. And we need to call the other one, and then we'll tell them to come over to the phone. But let's call our mom first. I haven't spoken with mom since I... <coughs> since I left, actually. I should give her a ring. Hello? Hi, mom? <gasps> it's April. How are you? Where are you, sweetheart? In the city, Mom, you know that. Why didn't you call? We've been... I've been worried sick about you, sweetheart. Didn't you get my letter? Yes, and I can't say I understand why. Well, that was the problem, wasn't it? You didn't understand. I don't think it was fair of you to be so hard on your father. You hurt him a lot, you know? And I'm not just talking about you pushing him down the stairs. And what about me? You don't think he hurt me? Were you so blind you didn't see that? April, you know I can't take sides in this. No. Of course not. Not you. Not ever. Anyway, how is... Is Dad doing okay? I mean, after the fall. He broke his arm and he had to take some time off work. Money short because of that. We had to pull Danny out of school until next semester. You can't blame me for those things, Mom. If you hadn't left like you did... I'd probably be dead now, Mom. I couldn't take it anymore. Please, let's not argue about this now. I just wanted to... I just wanted to hear your voice. Please come home, April. We still love you. No. Thank you, but no. That's not gonna happen. Listen, I have to go. I'm in the middle of... something. Take care, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, me too, Mom. Bye. So now, after interacting with the phone on the left, call the number that you find from the phone on the right. And now I'll come over to the portly fella and tell him there's a phone call. Hey, there's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. Out of my way, lady! And tell the thin guy as well. Good to see you up and about, George. I'd love some green eggs and ham, wouldn't you? You'll have to go through some of this dialogue first, though, probably. Good to see you up and about, George. What's the deal with those spaceship dinners, huh? I mean, they taste like hospital food. There's a call for you too, sir. There we go. Me? I get no calls ever. Except from my mommy. 
Is it my mommy? Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. Thanks. And now he's gone as well, and we can interact with these wires. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires... Voila! I'm so good. Easy. Hey, you can't go back there. It's a restricted area. I need to distract her. But how? <laughs> how indeed. We need to come back over here and look up at these shelves. Let's see. What's the most difficult form to get a hold of? <laughs> the label on that shelf says, Reporting indecent or lewd behavior by bingo or BM personnel. Number 31366. Good. Let's get a, to get that. Excuse me, ma'am. You again. What do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number? 31366. Hold on. Now, as soon as she goes, come over here immediately and interact with the wires, then run through as quick as you can. Go, go, go! And we're through. Success! There is a soda machine here. You're going to want to buy a soda. Bingo. The world's favorite soda. And after the devastating soda wars of 2159, the world's only soda. We don't need this for here, but a little later on. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Let's see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! I'll go with the old standby. Bingo classic. Boring, but safe. April's not a fan of cherry cola, is she? It's a can of delicious Bingo classic soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, Bingo would still be the soda for me. Whoop. Now this is where we need to get in. It's a retinal scanner. Instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. Archives. The archives. It's what we need. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. Locker room. So how will we get past a retinal scanner? Well, there's going to be a way, isn't there? Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Frank Manelli. Make sure you interact with at least the Maria Hernandez one. Oh dear. It's occupied. Awkward. Let's talk to him. Hi. Who's in there? Manelli. Who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? Agent Scully. Agent Scully, FBI. You'll be wanting the chief's office then. That's down the hall. Oh my god, pain. 90s references. Hello? Who is it? It's me. Oh, hey, hey, wait. I know that voice. Identify yourself. Uh, um, I gotta run. Hey, hold it, come back. Oh my god, that hurts. Hello? Who is it? What you have to do is choose Sergeant Hernandez, but as always, I'm just gonna show all the options. Nobody. Who is... Oh my god. Somebody kill me. Because the dialogue in this game is worth it. Hello? Who is it? Pizza delivery. Oh god, don't mention pizza. Christ. Hello? Who is it? 
Right, here we go. Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, oh God. A key. It's the key to Frank Minnelli's locker. We already saw his locker. It's this one. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sue. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You'd never tell from looking at him. A synthetic eye, eh? Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for a runny tummy. So there's the medicine. Let's take it. Before we leave, though, the mirror here. Sergeant Manelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. The mirror's cracked. You can see there's this piece down in the corner. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. A shard of glass that you can take. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. Ooh, login details. Tummy ooh ah, fast relief for runny tummy. Look. It's a shard of glass from a mirror. And we got the shard of glass, which we're gonna need. Obviously. Hello? Maria? You got my medicine? Yep. Got it right here. Well, slide it under the door, will you? Hurry. Oh, thank God, thank God. Uh. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think... This medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. Achoo! 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 No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli... God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nice? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake. You don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. So now we know the birthday for the password. Whew. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Manelli's in there. Oh, crap, my eye. Ooh, an eye. It's Frank Manelli's synthetic eye. We're going to want that to get past the eye scanner. Hey, leave my eye alone. But we can't take it yet. 
There you are. Back in your slot. Over here, there is a light switch. It's a light switch. We need to turn that off. Oh, crap, my eye! Then when he drops his eye again, quickly switch it out for the monkey eye, which we got from Guybrush right at the start of the game. But as long as you picked up Guybrush, you can take it from him at any point. There you are. And then we just want to run out. Back in your slot. Oh, God, I'm seeing red. I'm having a stroke. Maria, Maria. And use Minelli's eye on the eye scanner. It's Frank Minelli's synthetic eye. I'm just, um, borrowing it. He'll get it back. We're in. 